interview take. This is the elevator at the Port Hotel. All right. Pulling the doors. All right. So we need the reader. Um, aren't all the floors? So go ahead and push ten. Okay. Oh. Oh, I guess we're going. To, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. get a cab at some point. Yeah, normally my instinct is to go to the top floor. So normally my instinct is to go to the top floor. Okay, okay. Hmm. See, so uh, this is the Let's see. Yeah. Right, hmm. IT department. Okay, let's go back down to one. So we're gonna have. This is when I normally get a cab here. I'm gonna set my way. This is a kind of basic dish elevator, but it's also nice. Hello. 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 Hmm. Normally I would uh, talk about the brand of the elevator, but this elevator did it has. Exclusively generic components. Okay. You think you know what brand it is by chance, just from familiarity? Mm -hmm. Not real. There's I. Well, I was on the Holiday Inn at Cedar Springs, and uh, this had all access lift LLC, so that might be the case. Okay. And that's it. Two. Not that because the first take was bad. <laughs> so. Hmm. So it looks like we'll be getting this elevator right here. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Let's see which one goes down first. Hmm. Okay, here we go. So I so this time we get to, we get to see the right elevator. Hello. Okay. So back we'll go to twelve this time. actually do that flickering in real life. Here we are at 12. Back down to 1. Oh, here's an awful nice and I off the coder. Sorry about that. View where I mostly show the design of the elevator. Or, what kind of things are you noticing? Or like mostly the flickering or the or odd uh, functions. Like this elevator does like like a pre um scan your view and press two and I'll show this. I'll press. Normally should only chime up once for down. Okay. And twice for up. Yeah. Oh, I was. Oh, I, oh, we're doing. Oh, we're going up again. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Like I said, it's gonna be a couple times. Do you notice different buttons too on different elevators? Like some are rounded out, and some are pushed yeah. in, and some are metal, and some. Yeah. Are... Like these are these are known as innovation. These pictures are known as innovation universal, and they're one of the most common in the world. Okay. Back up to twelve again. What about? The close and open buttons. Do those actually work, or are they fake? 
Most of the time they actually do work. Okay. I've heard a rumor that sometimes they're just there for people to push a button to speed things along. <laughs> anyway, look, there are some interesting technologies. Like, uh, there is this technology called Destination Dispatch. We're actually an inner floor on the outside. And there actually is one in Grand Rapids here. Okay. At the McKay Tower. Very nice. Um, there, are, there are some rare finds finds around. Like, I, I hear the, I hear there's, like, according to other members of the elevator community, there are, the elevators at the City Flats Hotel are pretty rare. Okay. Well, the elevator, rather. Because there's only one. Have you ridden the elevators at the Emily Grand Plaza? A few times. Okay. Of course he has. Yes, those are the <laughs> tallest ones in the city, I feel like. So, uh. do you, you say you know all the brands? Do you know what this is? This is a generic company. He did. But I have a feeling there's a company called Abel that makes some elders at Menard stores, including the one at the, one of the Menards in Comstock Park. Right. Okay, I'm going to want to get in. I guess. Oh, you and this time I'm writing in again, but I want to watch you get a good shot of you walking in. Oh. Oh. oh okay, this one I guess. again? Let's do 11. Oh, huh. Oh, it expired. <laughs> so what are some of the things that you notice that most people don't notice about elevators? Like, for example, there are some, some elevators, for example, go all faster than others, or, or have you, your, or have your, there are fixtures, like uh, I saw a really rare one in Chicago once. There are plenty of old elevators, or some, like, some have indicators up, like, up here. I'm sure this is what they all, this building used to have those. This panel on the case is an older elevator updated. This is another dead giveaway right here for an old elevator. Here in some, there are different manufacturers, too. Like, um, the Amway has Otis elevators. The, there's Bridgewater Place, the office building, originally at Montgomery Elevators, but they're getting modernized right now. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, the the new the new residence in has Coney Elevators. The Warner Building has ThyssenKrupp Elevators. There's Schindler. Oh, DeVos Place has has Schindler, and there are some defunct brands like, for example, well, the Lorraine Building, the last manual elevator had Otis. And I guess this is it. Let's see which one. Good. Oh, this one also had that slightly malfunctional chime. Oh. The doors are closing. Oh, oh, it went out. There you go. Try 12. What's the tallest elevator you've ever been in? Huh. Before I started, it was before I saw Elvers of the Wells Tower in Chicago, but that was before I started filming. The tallest I've ever filmed was at a different residential building in Chicago that went 86 floors. Wow. It, was it fast? Yeah. And I've actually, the fastest I've been on is at a building in Las Vegas, which I have, is at a building in Los Angeles that I have filmed but haven't released yet. Where's that? Can you tell That's me? That's at the Wilshire Grand. It's at the Wilshire Grand. Okay. Hmm. I and some um, um the um this is probably the the biggest elevator I've ever found, maybe in River Town, the smallest elevator was at a church in Caledonia Township. Okay. Yep, I'd say the, the, the most common is found in a lot of places, like is is maybe say the fixtures that Sears had, but Sears Sears Woodland had before it closed. Oh, that's it. Sure. That's so let's take a. Oh, and so oh, and oftentimes elevators will make a lot of beeping noise when they. Oftentimes, elevators will make a loud beeping noise if you hold them open for too long. Okay, I'm pushing 10 or 11. Okay. 
So, solo take this time. More house in tow. The Morton in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ooh, NVR did not actually click her like that. Hmm, some cool noises. Hmm, I wonder what I wonder what's on the three button. Here we are at eleven. Let's go back down to one. Almost rust the alarm there. I actually have rust the alarm a few times before. Once at a hotel in Holland, and another time in a, at a, I met a one in South Dakota, both made by the now defunct Montgomery Code. These door buttons actually do work most of the time, but not always. Door open always works, but door closed is more hit and miss. You don't even have them. And that's it. Take. Let's see. And it's going to be this one. Un hmm. Here it Here it comes. Which one? Let's do 11. Oh, it expired. Is this the most you've probably rode an elevator over yeah. there? Yeah, most, of, yeah. I think only once in, yeah, maybe one, I think once in Las Vegas is probably the only other time I've ridden an elevator done uh, more than one round trip. Right. Hold on one second. If, you, if you don't mind, but just staying here for a second. You just want to. Uh... All right. Let me back in, though, please. When it shuts. <laughs> Alright, press the button already. Um, you're blocking the door with your foot. I was just waiting for her. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't sure if you were going to get out and look at it, but that's all right. Right. Oh, and sometimes we, like, like at least in the past, they like to point out security cameras, <laughs> you know. How much video do you usually take for one of these? Mm, usually it takes, I think, like about two, usually takes about two to three minutes, depending on how busy they are, they are, or, and like how fast it goes and how many floors it goes. Sometimes, sometimes I do multiple sets of elevators in one video. Oh, this is it.